Hey, welcome to my channel. <clears throat> I got myself the DJI controller 2 today and I thought I would do a little tutorial on it. If you bought the Vodafone Pro View Combo, then I would highly recommend that you pick up one of these as well. I probably spent like an hour trying to bind it to my Avada until I read that you have to download the DJI Assist 2 software on PC or Mac and then update the controller's firmware via USB-C cable to the latest version before the drone recognizes it. Just a reminder to also activate the controller afterwards on your DJI Fly mobile app, otherwise the controller will not be usable. I will only be doing normal or stable mode today to get the feel for the controls. So make sure that your drone's camera lens cover is removed and your controller's antenna is in the upward position. To power up the drone, you need to push both thumbsticks down and then inward. You will see that the blades will spin up and you should be ready to go. Gently increase the throttle on the left thumbstick in the upward position and maintain throttle position to put it into a hover. From here you can move forward by pushing the right stick upward or you can go backwards by moving the right stick downward. To your left and right, use the left thumbstick and gently move it from side to side until you get the feel for it. To descend, you have to decrease the throttle input by pushing the left stick downward. To gain altitude, you need to increase the throttle input by pushing the left stick upward. To roll left and right, you use your right thumb stick and move it from side to side. Just one note, I'm using the default mode 2 settings, but you, if you've changed any of the mode settings to either 1 or 3, then your controls will be different than mine. Also. I've not made any custom bindings on my buttons, so everything is set to default. Okay, with all of that out of the way, let's do some gentle flying and also inspect my solar panels while I'm at it. You will notice when you play around with the roll that it's locked into a 45 degree angle. That's because the drone is currently in normal or as many people would refer to a stable mode. This means you cannot perform any flips and your pitch up and down will be horizontally locked as well. You also have a little tilt wheel located on the bottom left of the controller. You tilt the camera up and down if you want to focus on a specific spot, which is quite helpful. Now I want to discuss something very important that can save your drone if you have an emergency or if you lose control, which I call the panic button. I will show you how this works in a minute. If you have used an Xbox or PlayStation controller, you will be familiar with the left bumper, so it should be very easy for you to remember. This will bring the drone to an immediate halt and hover in place for a few seconds. You will not be able to control the drone when the brake is engaged. So don't worry if all your controls are locked during this time, because it's working as intended. Just give it 2-3 seconds and you should be able to gain control again. If you are flying the drone in manual mode, then the good, good news is that you can still use the panic button to stop the drone in place and it will also kick the drone back into normal mode so that you can regain control, which is a very good safety feature. Here's an example where I push the panic button to bring the drone to a halt at moderate speed. You can see the message in the goggles reads, aircraft braking. This message will disappear after 3 seconds, which means you have gained full control of the drone again. Thanks for watching guys, that's it from me. Feel free to drop a comment or ask questions, I will try my best to answer all of them. And I'll see you in the next one.